talk about something that's pretty serious to me and it's something that I have learned over the past years and it's really just it's ruffled my feathers it's made me wake up it's made me really stop and think about what's going on in this world and you know obviously I stumbled into raw foods and detoxification but along with that came so many other things and one of them is the awakening that I've had to the amount of people that are taking prescription pills. And I'm not saying that there's not needs for prescription um, medication. I think that things like painkillers are really useful. If you are in a car wreck and your leg is torn off or something horrible like that, I think that there's definitely uses for um, Western medicine. I also think that in dire need, antibiotics are helpful. Okay, but every time you get a cold or flu, or anytime something happens, we don't need to be downing antibiotics because we need to change the terrain of our body to where um, our immune system is so wonderful that we don't need antibiotics. <clears throat> so there's a ton of people taking prescription pills, and the metaphor, or is it a simile, <laughs> that I'm thinking of is people that are, you know, let's say they're taking, I don't know, high blood pressure medicine which, oh my gosh, side note, it is so easy to get your blood pressure in check with a diet change. But anyway, um, their house is on fire, if you will. And so taking prescription medicine is like going like this. You can't see the fire anymore, but your house is still burning down. So if you don't get a, a hold of your health, pretty soon your house is gonna be burnt down and it might take years. You could probably be on that heart blood pressure medicine for years until you know you hit a hole in the road and something is going to, something else in the body goes down. So, so how do we wake up and how do we escape from ill health? Well, obviously a diet change is gonna do it. We all know that, first of all, dairy is for calves. Dairy milk, cheese, yogurts, all of that, it, 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 it's, it's baby cow growth formula, okay? So just like human breast milk is for human babies, cow milk and dairy products are not made for the human body. And so there's a reason why uh, I would say 100% of the world is lactose intolerant and they may or may not know it. There's a reason for that. It's because it's not made for our species, just like giraffe milk isn't for us either, you know? So I don't know where and how we got this obsession with dairy milk. And a lot of it goes along with people thinking that we need calcium and protein and all of that from the dairy milk. Little do they know that, cal that dairy milk is so acidic that it actually leaches alkaline minerals like calcium from the bones. So you're really not getting calcium from milk. You're just getting a bunch of mucus and acidity. So that's that, that's dairy milk. And meat, okay, I mean, meat is a, is a very interesting topic. And a lot of people want to hold on to meat, dead flesh, dead carcass, whatever you wanna call it. They wanna hold on to it with everything they have. And that is because, you know, it's addicting. It's, it's been in our life forever. You know, I grew up eating meat. Um, I'm a mere mortal here. <laughs> and, um, there's a lot of, I don't know, attachments to meat, to dead flesh to people, but we've got to realize that it's no longer needed. I'm not denying the fact that we moved into colder climates years and years and years and years ago, and we might have needed to kill an animal for its flesh so we could stay alive, okay? But wouldn't you agree that we have moved far past that? We have grocery stores on every corner that are full of produce. And we all know that fruits and vegetables, soaked and sprouted, nuts and seeds, seaweeds, those all create the best health in the body. So why wouldn't we want to go towards that, towards the life, towards the living foods that detoxify and keep the body supple and healthy and get away from, from the dead foods that we no longer need? So, so how do we wake up and escape ill health? We've got to get away from the animal products and we've got to learn how to to detoxify. 
because if anyone, if this society is ever going to get off its dependence to prescription medicine, it's going to take a revolution. And the revolution is going to include detoxifying, detoxification. Now, do I think that the Western hospitals and doctor's offices and urgent cares are ever going to grasp that? I don't know. I, I don't have a crystal ball. I cannot tell the future. But in the near future, I don't think that that's going to happen. And that is where we have to take charge of our own health. And at this point in time, it's free to detoxify. Now you gotta buy a juicer maybe and some fruits and vegetables, but it is all worth it in the end because do you want to buy the fruits and vegetables or do you wanna buy $250,000 or whatever, how much it costs, triple bypass surgery or, or um, open heart surgery where they rip open your ribs and do surgery on the heart when really you just needed some plants. We just need some salads here or there. But we live in a society where people are so desensitized to fruits and vegetables that they no longer taste good to them. Or I don't know if they ever did because we grew up eating hamburger helper and mac and cheese. You know what I mean? I'm guilty of that too. So we're desensitized to the wonderful taste of fruits and vegetables and it's going to take it's going to take a wanting for this. Do you want your health back? Do you want your children's health back? Your future children's health? Then we've got to kind of rearrange our genes a little bit, detoxify our bodies, eat some fruit, eat some salads, and get more on track with nature and get away from the fake foods, the fake prescription medicines, and the fake notion that you need those things or that you're never going to get well if you don't have the prescription medicines and the unnecessary surgeries and the chemotherapies and all of that. It's all lies that we've been told and that's a whole nother story. Um, you know, all the propaganda that's going on, we've got commercials all over TV for meat and dairy and then the next commercial is for, you know, um, I don't even remember what it's called, the, the, the pills that make your stomach feel better, um, the antacids, and then the next commercial is for um, you know, laboratech or whatever the words are, where the side effects are death, kidney failure, seizures, you know, do you know what I'm saying here? Can you get what I'm stepping in? <laughs> so I myself, um, by the grace of God, was woken up to raw foods and I sometimes feel like an alien in this world walking around in a society where it's the opposite of the life I live, but that's okay because I'm on my own path here and I love doing my YouTube videos where I can try to help people, you know, kind of get the groove on with the raw foods and that makes me very happy and it fulfills me. So I'm just trying to get this message out there that we need to open our eyes and we need to get rid of the fire that's going on in our houses by hosing it down with raw fruits and vegetables. Can I get an amen? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I know I get a little intense sometimes, but that's just because you never know when this mood strikes me. And I want to just spat out at you what I believe is true and how, you know, how you can help your life, how you can take charge of your own life and get your health back. Because that's what we all want. We have nothing, we have absolutely nothing without the health of this physical body. Now we can leave this physical realm and go on to crazy places and be with God, in my opinion. But right now, when we're living in this world, we need the health of our physical body or else we have nothing. So that's my message here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And click like and subscribe for more videos from me. Check out my website and I'll see you later. Bye.